Welcome back. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my motherfucking channel. If you missed the last reaction, I reacted to Alexis's side of the story. You can go ahead and click onto that. Her and Cressa are going through a separation. We now know Alexis's side. But we're gonna hear Chris aside, and I wanna know exactly what's going through her mind, what her feelings are, and we're just gonna jump right to it. Are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. And this is this is why we need the space. Oh shit, hold on. This video is not a response reaction to Alexis' previous video. This video contains information on my side of the story and an update on how I am handling the situation. I did not see her video before filming this one. Oh shit. Here we go. I'm kind of nervous to know her side, honestly. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really don't know what to expect. I mean, honestly, from the things that I've been seeing with her filming with her friends, Case, I've noticed a lot of signs where she misses the single life as if she wants to explore a little bit more. Maybe let things out of her system, I'm guessing. Because if, if, you, if you have been watching them, she's been wanting a threesome, okay? And then I see how she responded to one of her friends, I forgot her freaking name. How she does open relationships, throuples, stuff like that. Her reaction to that was, that is life. <laughs> so I feel like she kind of misses, she needs to explore a little bit more. Liam. Fam bam. Come on, man. I miss Alexis! Obviously. I know, <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be taking time for myself. I know I'm supposed to be figuring out what it is that I like doing my spare time. I know I'm not supposed to have my mind wander too much on Alexis and just really just, you know, focus on me. You see why this is gonna lead to a fucking divorce. <laughs> just that right there, her saying, I know I'm not supposed to be thinking about Alexis. Why wouldn't you? Why aren't you guys working on each other too. It's okay to work on yourselves separately, but if you want the marriage to work out at the end, you have to work on each other as well. Don't seem like y'all are doing it. It's on me the more I think about Alexis. That sounds like codependency, quite honestly. No, seriously. I mean, I, I do want her to come back. I want to go back. I want to go back to her. I, I miss her. I hope she misses me. Because I miss her. Oh my god. <laughs> We're not giving up on each other, guys. Uh, um, that's the point of this break, is to give each other space and some time, and time to miss each other, time to work on ourselves individually. We are taking a break. We are not breaking up. Is that something that could possibly happen? I mean, that could happen with anybody if they allow it to happen. Well, that, but that's what we're trying to prevent. And our relationship okay. will be better and not not so much like this. Hey. Oh, that was... Oh. Even though this would be really cool if our relationship looked like that. Girl, relationship come on. <laughs> what, what's going on? I'm confused. <laughs> Girl, let's get back to it, please. Anyways, <laughs> it does hurt to take something like this and to need to take something like this, but if you can recognize it, that's like a powerful thing. We had already been in like talks and having conversations that like led us into maybe doing something like this, um, that we might need it for ourselves and for our relationship. And I'm curious to know if they have a hall pass in the process. You know what a hall pass is, is when uh, you give your partner that one time freedom to be single and do whatever the fuck they want to do, whatever that entails. I wonder if that was part of the agreement. 
We don't know. This I wouldn't be surprised. This came where I had to be in uh, Florida for an extended uh, amount of time. So, so we kind of took that as kind of a sign that we take that time apart and work on ourselves. So we, we, we did that, obviously. It wasn't easy, you know? Um, relationships, relationships aren't easy. What you guys don't understand is we've been together for- Long time, like nine years, years 10 years? We've been married- Long for time. Four years now, we've been going on five. Child, 10 years. 20, 20, Being together for that long can also cause them to be comfortable to the point where you're just settling because you're just so used to being with each other. You can't see yourself with anybody else. And I'm not just speaking on their relationship. I'm just in general. That is something that you also want to be aware of. 18, 18, 19, 19, when being in a long-term rela long relationship. Yeah, this is gonna, sorry guys. This is gonna be the fifth year that we're gonna be married. Whether it be heterosexual or homosexual relationships, some jobs cause relationships to have issues. For sure, careers. At that point, are you just like, I'm gonna take a break from my job and to focus on our relationship. Social media is our job, right? It's both mine and hers. Social media became the problem is because both of us are in social media. And so we have the flexibility. Okay. We're always doing videos together. Right. We're always creating together. Right. Our flexibility and time allows us to always be together. Krissa, what do you like to do on your free time? Alexis, what <laughs> do you like to do on your free time? Okay, so I have an easy solution for that to where you don't have to separate. I mean, I don't care if you do or don't. But if it's social media, you guys don't have to make content together. If you need to create content in the mornings, go off, go off on your own and do your thing. And your other partner can do the same separately. You guys can spend all those hours apart doing that. Just like a regular nine to five job when someone has to leave the house to go work for those eight hours or if you work different shifts, it's the same thing, treat it that way instead of having to create, having to feel the need to create content together. You don't have to. Hmm, I don't know. I don't think it's social media. That's the problem. You have to work around it. Alexis, what do we like to do on our free time? <laughs> We're getting lost in us as a whole. It's, you know what I'm saying? It, it, you, we need to just find ourselves again. We used to have a business it was causing her a lot of physical pain and such. And we were in a, um, in a place where we could just back up from that business and have her focus full time on social media. So she did that to save her body and preserve her body for her own physical wellness and, and health. Right. So what she explained what she did and she, so therefore she ended her business. And at that point, it's kind of where it turned where I feel like she kind of lost track of who she was and like, what's your purpose in life, mm -hmm. right? Everybody wants to know, what is your purpose in life? And that's what causes a lot of depression. From my experience, having to go through depression for four years, which I'm out of now, but when I was going through that, my whole thing was finding my purpose. My depression started when I tried to conceive a child. I tried six times IUIs and it was, they were all unsuccessful. So when I made the decision to stop trying and to realize that in this lifetime I will not be a biological mother, which I never in my mind ever thought that that was gonna be an issue, I no longer knew what my purpose was in life. I'm like, I can't even be a mother to a child. I can't raise a child into adulthood, into a mother or a father of their own, have their own family, me being a grandparent. And it was just, it, life just slapped me in the face. I, knew, I no longer knew what my purpose was until I found it. And 
If I could, if I couldn't see the world through my child's eyes, I might as well look at the world through mine, which is why I now travel, and and that's what helped me get out of depression. So I understand finding your purpose can be really difficult. And but once you after, find it, after her, it's on a pop. Her, her business, she felt like she lost track of what her purpose is, and so when you lose track of what your purpose is, or you lose track of kind of look like who are you. She's trying to find herself again, and mm -hmm. you know, that's all mental. You know, just taking time for yourself and figuring out what is it that you like again. We'll wake up in the morning, be drinking some coffee. I'm talking about Matt early, six o'clock. Oof! And she'll just have I can't do a that. full blown conversation <laughs> with me. Oh, well, it's really just her talking to me because I'm not even saying anything. <laughs> and I just be like, this chick. And I wish that chick was right here right now. Wait, I don't get I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. What was the point of her saying that? Was it a good thing that she talked the whole time and that's something that you loved? Or was it something that annoyed you? <laughs> because it's so early in the fucking morning and you just ain't got the time for a conversation. Like, what, 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 what just happened right now? This is the little things I take for granted. Like, real talk. Um, and I think this time I'm just gonna meditate and really learn to have that patience and appreciate those moments because you don't always get those moments you know <sighs> this is hard i believe it i'm not gonna lie i'm sure it is i'm sure it is i'm hoping that this is really gonna work But it's necessary, you know? I really appreciate everybody who has been supporting us through this. And I'm sure she's getting messages. I'm getting messages that people are just telling me their stories and how they've been there and it's worked out. And it's very motivating to know that like something like this. If you missed my live, I said this on there, but I'll say this in this video in case you missed it. Statistically, marriages who separate within one year end up divorced 50% of the time. 50% of the time. I don't know how many marriages that she's come across that have separated and are still together, but it's highly likely that it doesn't happen too often. So let's make this clear and let's talk about facts. So just to put that out there. Let's work. But it's good to know that those people that have done this and gotten through it and they've been together 20-something plus years, you know? And that's what we're striving for, lifetime. And that's the thing, some do make it. Most don't. That's my lifetime baby. And this is just how we work through it. And it sucks, but everybody handles things differently. For sure. But I hope I clarify some things for y'all. Not questions really. Or concerns that you guys might have. <laughs> Um, nope. <laughs> all I can do is just ask you guys just to bear with us. Just keep supporting us. Um, I like that rainbow bell, by the way. That notification you. bell. Um, it's cute. That's really it. You know, be the familiar that we need. You know what I mean? It's so weird to yeah. see. <laughs> It's so weird to see Crystal serious because that's not her personality. Bam, bam to the end. You know what I'm saying? It's like she's trying really hard to like stay in that serious zone, but it's like that funny in her just wants to come out. And <laughs> Here we I go. I freaking love y'all. Here we go. <laughs> see, I told you it's gonna come out. I'm legit just sitting I told in the you. by myself. Just she can't help it. That's guys. her. That's who she I'm is. I'm by myself. <laughs> Alexis. Uh. Funny. Just me and you guys. Which is cool. I don't want you guys like that wasn't like a like a depressed thing, like you know. So <laughs> I love you guys so. <laughs> I love me right. too. I love this you. This is me in the end. I that pretty much took us nowhere. It gave us absolutely no information. 
I don't know what the hell is going on. Honestly, she pretty much just validated and confirmed everything that Alexa said. So, yeah. I don't know what to make of this, whatever, <laughs> I guess. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please follow me on TikTok. Find me at blissful underscore experiment. I'm having fun there. I've uploaded a couple clips from TikTok onto YouTube just to give you a little taste of what's to come. See you till next time. Peace.